Hello and welcome everybody to another episode of Hunting with Pratze or uh, shall I say uh, Hallo or Willkommen till uh, Jagd me Pratze på Skandinavisk uh, Jagdreservat uh, på Hjemmedal i Norge eller Sverige um, Yes I do speak a little bit of Norwegian uh, because I have spent a year there and um, yes we are here at Hjemmedal which is the new hunting reserve of the hunter and we started here at the um, copper top lodge um, and um, I'm super excited about that new hunting reserve um, you have seen that I have not been doing new videos for quite a while and um, that's kind of like a phenomenon that I always um, see when uh, a new hunting reserve is announced then um, like one or two weeks before that um, I seem not able to <laughs> play the game because I really want to play the new reserve and um, yes finally we got it and um, yes it's it's the first time I set foot on this and you guys are with me and I'm really happy we can do this um, what can I say um, I have not seen um, a lot of it actually nothing we are starting together we are going to uh, experience this together. Um, I just read up um, we have two lodges, one's called Drengstorp and the other one that we are starting from now is called Koppertop and um, it says that if you starting from Koppertop um, and you go to the north you have a good chance of seeing brown bears and that leads me to the to the next epic news which is we got the brown bear as uh, the new species which also has been announced uh, quite a while ago already and um, yeah that was my first guess if you uh, remember um, and um, I know that some people are a little bit disappointed because of uh, it is actually just a larger um, um, a larger version of the black bear but um, I personally are um, I'm I'm very excited about it and I find it awesome to be able to hunt such um giant um predators like the brown bear and um yeah I'm really looking forward to that and that's also the reason why we're starting from copper top which is um a little bit more in the, in the north part as you can see here um there is a description that says um, if you want to hunt brown bear you can go to the north here into that into that mountain area and um, the moose should be more around that swampy areas down here in that little valley kind of or is it a creek I don't know um, yeah there's also road deer on the map um, I pretty much think they are more also not not so high in the mountains more like um, down here in that valley and um, yeah we just I think the priority today is to find a brown bear and bring him down and um, actually there has been more than only um, this new reserve coming up um, we also got a new weapon which is actually not a new weapon but I'm gonna tell you everything about it um it's this one it's the engraved version of the side by side shotgun and uh, I think if we're lucky enough we could try to get a brown bear down with this one um just to say it short it's uh, the exact same shotgun um as the side by side we have already it's just in a much prettier version so um yeah this is only for for the looks and um, the pricing is extremely high at 1000 EMS but I, th I just thought um, since I 
love this game um, and I just wanted to show you that thing I just thought just let's let's do that and show it to you guys and um, I think I primarily will use it for things like bear hunting or moose hunting um, since you guys know that um, when using the side by side for pheasant, hunt pheasant hunting <laughs> you always destroy like your stats so um, yeah that's that and um, yeah I think we are good to go um, let's load this up with um, good old slug shells and of course um, I do also have with me the uh, Unshoots because um, here we can find moose and brown bear, and this is extremely large um, game, so this rifle is just perfect for it. And um, we are going to go with that. Uh, if we should come across some roe deer, uh, we can load some buckshot into our side by side engraved. Um, rifle and um, this way we are set up perfectly I also wanted to mention that I just uh, took just in case uh, a bear bar barrel with me and some bite um, since there is not so many species on this map uh, there is quite a lot of room in the um, inventory uh, which is uh, quite handy because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to take a, um, a tent as well I'm still not sure if um, if a um, tree stand would not be the better option here I think we should actually I think we should take the tree stand with us instead and uh, well maybe we find a nice place where we want to set up some um, the barrel and um, also put up the tree stand just to um, create another little nice spot for bear hunting and yes so let's look on the let's look on the map I think I wanna go up here somewhere let's first check out this oh well I think we're just going to uh, to go to that point up here and hopefully find some bears on the way so um, yes let's go and as always you guys are with me when I find something spectacular like scenery wise or um, yeah whenever something happens case of what the heck guys I'm just taking you with me here um, for the first steps we take um, actually while climbing up that hill um, we do have a, a rather nice um, overview on that valley down there and um, I have to say so far it looks awesome I love these um, trees here um, and all that snow and um, yeah it's just so different it's a it's a whole new world and I just love how much detail the developers put into every new hunting hunting reserve they are doing um, I actually first expected them to use much more of the you know of the plants we have already in the game but um, of course they surprised me with all these new trees and um, for me especially um, it's interesting because I myself have lived in Norway for almost one year and uh, I have to say it's a, it's a very very nice job they have done and um, yeah it's just <laughs> so exciting I mean also that that sound of um, walking on the snow it's very nice oh, just let's 
let's just take a look down from here look at this guys by the way the wind is perfect for us we are moving into the opposite direction um, it's uh, fantastic and up there this mountain look at this very nice hey guys I just heard a male road deer calling and it's coming from that direction so uh, yeah let's let's just try to call it in I have already put some some buckshot into the shotgun so we are prepared okay this seems to be a very good position here and um, yeah let's hope we will get our first harvest here on uh, Hiemeral I can hear something I just thought I heard something in the bushes. Um, I, I just have to say this um, hunting reserve is ex extremely well done and beautiful okay there's also a female nearby but of course we are going for the buck there there's the buck Oh, and look, you can see his breath. This is really nicely done. And we got him. Our first harvest on Yamadal. And now some roe deers are going crazy here. Wow, that's a load of blood. Oh, wow. It was a very solid shot with buckshot, so I'm not surprised that he dropped right on the spot. And he was sliding down that little hill there. So let's see. 77.549 Okay, let's try to drag him out of there a little bit. Uh, and as you can see, we did some huge damage on him. Nice. It's a, it's a small buck, but nevertheless, we got our first harvest. And um, now, of course, uh, we are hoping for for that first brown bear to uh, to appear. 
Man, I'm looking forward. This is going to be so awesome. I hope we find one. And uh, I hope we can harvest one as well. So keep your fingers crossed and next time we... I see something or hear something, you will be with me again. Oh guys, look at this. I just... Uh, I have a great view here. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, I have been to Norway and um, I gotta say it really looks like like the area I mean, it really looks like, like Norway does in that um, time of the year. Um, and I heard that Sweden and Norway is not so much different um yeah this is awesome hey guys i just got a call of another rodeo buck he is he's right in that direction so why not let's try it um i seem it seems like i have been a little bit wrong about my expectations for where to find road ears they seem to um, also roam the higher regions here and this is actually a perfect spot so uh, it's also starting to snow and uh, it looks great Yeah, there's there's quite some clouds now. Okay, I think uh, on in in this position here we should be able to spot him very early. The wind is not in our favor, as you can see. And there he is. But it's a very small one. So let's just watch him for a while. Not sure if we if we should take him though. He might, yeah. He, I, I think he detected us. Or maybe not. Now it's really snowing. Okay, we got him. We got him. Wow. It's really snowing now. <laughs> and we got our second um, roe deer. And again it's a body shot. And again he slided down the hill. <laughs> There he is. Wow, that that's a lot of snow right now. <laughs> and uh, the same same sort of shot, uh, but the score is better. 149.725. Okay, so that's the second road here and um, wow it really snows looks great and um, it's also perfect indication for the wind direction so yeah let's move on and um, hope for some brown bear 
Hey guys, look at this. There's a moose. Wow, it really sneaked up on me here. And now you can really see that breath visible because it's cold, you know? That's really nicely done. So, uh, shall we take him with the side by side? I think I have to load some slug shells. Never forget that, of course. Oh, he saw me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Luckily we have this. I'm I'm not sure though if we hit him or not. I think we missed him. Oh my god. <laughs> he was really aggressive. And that was really some bad shooting on my side. On my end. I think I saw him moving down here. But, um, poo. That was quite something right now. I think that might have mainly be because of the wind direction. Just want to make sure. That I didn't hit him. And maybe if he didn't go too far. We can get another shot on him. Wow that was. I mean you could tell. From my reaction I was really not expecting this at all there he is and I think we got a good shot at him It's like first time on a new hunting reserve <laughs> and I got killed by a moose. Well, injured, I would say. But I think that was a pretty good shot. And um, we have got ourselves our first Hjemdal Scandinavian moose. Left lung, liver, right lung. That was a solid hit. Score 141.923. So, um, it was really worth it to keep it cool after the attack. Okay, I think we can get a nice picture. Awesome. Okay. Now we do have already um, two rodeo bucks and a male moose that ran us over. 
in our back and um, yeah of course now we are missing new species and I think we won't give up hunting before we set eyes on our first brown bear and hopefully harvest him so uh, you'll be back with me whenever something happens guys look at this this is the first tracks of the brown bear that I see here and um, look how huge wow. and um, well I think it's uh, we should try to track him shouldn't we that was just a road deer spooking But um, I actually feel like tracking down that bear. So let's see in what direction he's moving. And um, I will follow his tracks now for a while and uh, when we get closer I bring you guys back <laughs> <laughs> 